Tyler Earnhardt. The night is the same length it always is, but to you it feels particularly agonizing. <clears throat> Perhaps it's summer coming with longer days and shorter evenings, but over the duration of the night, you find yourself fitfully dreaming here and there. Unlike before, however, there's no continuity to any of it. Maybe it's just your mind wandering, or maybe it's the pain, but you find yourself in and out of abstract vistas and vague places. One moment you're walking through an endless wheat field, and the other you're walking on the surface of the sea. You open a door made of fog and enter a torch-lit room that seems to not have a roof. Only an endless void and sandstone walls that seem to go up and up and up and up, fading beyond even the limits of your dark vision. Peering out over the room, though, and through the torchlight, you find yourself stopping short of wading out into an ocean of spears, swords, shields, and all such manner of defensive and offensive implements you've become quite familiar with working as a blacksmith. Atop a veritable carpet of daggers you find yourself walking upon, you see the weapons are stacked every which way and seemingly melted or fused together to form a variety of tables, chairs, chests, and other pieces of otherwise mundane furniture. Bewildered, you turn back around to find the exit to the room, but upon doing so, you're no longer in the room, but you're at the smithy. A lengthy scroll is busy, slowly burning away in the forge oven. It looks like the ledger. It's volume so great that it rolls out of the coals, trailing small embers behind it that race to catch up to the rest of the document. You walk past the scene and see your horse, stabled, waiting. Walking up to the horse, you produce a carrot from your pocket, and the animal eagerly nibbles the carrot away from your hand. It finishes quickly, but then something happens. An epiphany. In the midst of the abstract, a realization creeps into the fore of your mind, and you feel a small tinge of chagrin upon understanding that you are currently uh, dreaming. Morning. I was, uh, Having going. experienced this before, you know that upon realizing it's a dream, that will, it, it will inevitably okay. begin to fade. Wondering if there's something to it all or any kind of symbolism or meaning within the subliminal journey that you've just experienced inside of your own mind, you find yourself looking at the horse one last time as all the detail along the periphery of your vision begins to dull. You swear that if a horse could smile at you, it did. And its grinning visage is the last vestige of the dreamscape that fades as you awake. You look like shit. Feel like shit. <clears throat> you were thrashing about all night. Yep. It hurt. I can imagine. Shriek, I'm not sure if you're awake. I'm gonna go get some breakfast for everyone from the tavern. We should talk.
Come on. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> Kyler, as your consciousness comes to, you will immediately become aware that the dummy set up on the wall of your room has... Uh, Several small tears in it. The knives are thrown <clears throat> in at odd angles. And one's on the ground. Looks like Lisa was practicing quite a bit into the night. A silly question. Yeah. One that I should be asking. But that's neither here nor there. You, uh, wanted to talk? <clears throat> I understand you've been talking with Soma. Yeah. Bits and bobs. What exactly did he tell you? I, uh... Don't fully remember. Um... Something about, uh... So. Something about? Um... People in Ledford? Such as? Everyone was, um... <clears throat> molded together in a way. that we thought were gone are not. Right? He told you as well. Didn't he? Um... So? Yeah. He said something about me, didn't he? He did, yeah. What did he tell you? Um, you were you, but not you. Me, but not me. Exactly, is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Changed. Well, changed. For the better, I hope. Didn't sound like it. Well, you can't. Obviously, you can't believe him. I mean, it was a dream, you know. A lot of dreams don't really have meaning. Good. Food. Good. On table. <coughs> Thanks. He hasn't been telling other people this, has he? Because you know. I'm right here. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> yeah. I know.
She didn't even say hello. It's a little rude. Why does she act like she... Why does she act like she can't see me? That beats me. Lisa. Lisa, I'm right here. Lisa. Everything okay? I'm, 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 I'm right here. Yeah, I know. Nothing's wrong with me. No, you're fine. He's, he's, he's wrong. Someone's wrong. He didn't. He's lying. He has to be lying. Yes. I'm not. Did he tell her? He told her, didn't he? He mentioned it. I wasn't there, though. Is that why she won't talk to me? Lisa, say something. I'm right here. Sister. I'm right here. There's nothing wrong with me, right? She's lying, right? I hope so. He's lying. Ow. You're here. I, you're not. Ow. Good morning. I'm so clever. Lifted onto the bed, onto the, the resting place. Your body aches, your head throbs. Not fully awoken and not having rested well. Faint images, the last vestiges of the dreamscape you saw flood through your mind. They begin to fuse together and become incomparable from one another. You see flashes in between the vistas of old faces. People from Ledford, those you've seen and those you've seen changed. You see his face, you see it as you remember it, and for a moment it flickers. As Soma described, for a moment the eyes are red. The flesh is pallid, but it's just a moment. It flashes and it goes away, and the vistas continue, and the pain throbs. For a moment, you lose track of where you are. There is someone in front of you. You can feel their breath. You don't know who they are. Rolling. With an 18, you take a deep breath, and as you blink, you see Lisa in front of you, and it grounds your focus and reminds you none of that is real. You push the memories away, you push the images out of your head. The throbbing continues, but you are aware, and you are awake.
guess everyone's busy. Damn. I don't know what's fucking real anymore. I, I was in strange places, and then I was here, and he was here, and you were here, and now he's not, and you are, and I forgot everything, and... do I do? As you look up, Lisa's eyes are filled with worry, but there is a softness to them. As they look at you, there is a softness you have not seen in them in years. There is a kindness behind those eyes. She seems to regard you with a mixture of <clears throat> calm care and a motherly worry. She starts to look you over carefully. But the entire time, her hand holds you either your arm or your shoulder or wherever gently, as though making sure you do not fall backward. There's a comfort, a solidarity in these small actions. It is clear to you that as alone as you may feel in your own mind, the young woman before you, who you have deigned to call sister, seems adamant not to leave you be. And in those eyes, you see the young woman, vestiges of her, the one you met all those years ago in that small town in Eastern Ireland. I'm losing my fucking mind. Sorry. We all are. Trust me. No, no. You're not the only one seeing things, hearing things. I've got you. Chat, roll a d20. I... Keep her safe. Promise. Okay. Did 
Take it easy. With an eight, you see a small bit of blood, just a droplet, leak out the side of her mouth before she downs the drink. <clears throat> Seems she pushed herself this early in the morning. No more. feeling very hungry right now. Right. What are we going to do? When does this end? I'm so fucking tired. Stop eating for now. Thank you. Mm. <sighs> the bones are back where they need to be. It just... The trauma of it all around the chest is... skin still split and it fucking like I said before it's the same spot that happened when we were leaving Ledford and it's just it's never gonna fully heal it wasn't before and now it definitely won't Liliana spent months getting my strength back up. And now it's all undone. <laughs> I'm 
We should start the date. gotten better, at least. Knock, knock. <sighs> Been popular today. Take it easy today, all right? Yeah. You too, though. Yeah. <clears throat> um, thank you. Yes, sir. You're back. I am. Welcome back. Of course. Don't let me interrupt whatever this is. Mm. You should, uh, find Faye. Make sure she's okay. That was a trip. You have another whore waiting at the back door to speak to you. <sighs> okay. 
did not realize you were so busy. This wasn't the type of physical training I meant when I left. It's not like that. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Um. Well, um, I'll give the uh, important information first. Um, you have a guard standing out front. I don't know why they're watching the forge, but I figured I'd let you know. All right. Thank you. And, um, are you okay? I'm okay. Just, uh, just an accident, that's all. I'm back up on my feet, though. I'm glad. Hmm. Try to be safe for next time. I'll do my best. Thank you. You're welcome. How was your trip? About as uncomfortable as you could expect. Hmm. Who was your friend? The non-whore, I mean. She is uh, a friend from way back. She was looking after me last night. I got huh. um, pretty fucked up during the fight. She was making sure I didn't choke on my own tongue or something. It's good to have friends like that. Yeah, speaking of I which... I wasn't insinuating anything, by the way. Okay. Um, <clears throat> can you teach me how to deal with maces? Because that fucking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could go over that. Thank you. Do you want a drink um, of water? Have you only just come back? Yeah. Long ride. <laughs> Let me get you something. She seemed well capable, the one that was in the room with you. She's been through as many fights as I have. She had that air about her. It's good you have friends that are prepared. Yeah, it is. She worries. She's, uh, like a sibling to me. Hmm. Which is a <clears throat> new concept, but I'm trying to work with it. <clears throat> Not a bad thing, just be careful. I try to be. So? Are you going to tell me why you look like a bruised piece of fruit? <laughs> um, yeah. Last night, um, in our efforts of dealing with the corrupt Capitano and, by in part, his guards, uh, Tazim, <clears throat> myself, and a few others uh, raided a meeting between one of his lieutenants and his people under him. They were shaking down some merchants that refused to play ball with the Capitano. We knew they would be there, so we got the jump on them. And, uh... Well. I went one-on-one one one with the... the corporal himself, and, uh... got unlucky several times. My ribs caved in, and... How does he look? Well, he's dead now. Well, then I say you did really well. Yeah, well, would have liked to have not gotten injured at all. That's not how fights work, you know that. <laughs> You're in one piece. Yeah. Um, I did my best to keep up with training. Um, I have skipped 
one day because during a thing overnight I ended up fucking up my ankle. Um, but I've been doing the runs every morning. Oh, that's fine. I'll just add it. Uh, fine. And I'll give you a few days to heal. I've been writing every day in that little journal thing. And I mm. managed to spar with Marcus with Sword and Shield. I learned a few things. He gave me a few pointers. Um, and I took a cooking lesson. So, I'm trying to keep up with everything. Resourceful. <laughs> I guess it's worth having a few friends. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Where's your father? I'm not sure. I've only just managed to sit up properly. I heard there was some stuff I'm else. I'm guessing he's in better shape than you? Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Last I saw he was. We can go hunt him down if you want. I'm sure you have a report to give him. I think the information I have is useful, but I don't want to impose. I'd like to get a... Uh, the lay of the land. I haven't properly left the house yet today, so if you'd like to come for a walk. Yeah, I'd like that. <clears throat> I'm nearly done with my horse riding lessons too, actually. Really? Yeah. You know what that means. Mm hmm. You're gonna have to pick a name soon. Yeah, I know. Kyle are walking out into the forge for the first time in the morning. You see that the coals are lit, the tools are out. It looks like somebody's been doing a little bit of work at least. That's good news. <clears throat> Breakfast. Thank you. I've already eaten today, though. Another thing. Shriek, uh, Clifford's just got arrested? For doing what? I don't know. We were getting food and he was going to bring that bull over and then the guards arrested him. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Hungry? I'm gonna leave this on the table for Tazim, okay? Thanks, I don't like to eat after I ride. Why is that? Makes my stomach hurt, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. Preference. Sure. I didn't know if that was like one of these tricks you're gonna teach me. Like, ah, uh, you fool, never eat after a ride because you'll throw off your balance or something. I don't know. Most people don't eat before they ride or swim. Especially if you don't have as much experience in horses. I would probably suggest otherwise. So I should definitely not eat a bunch before doing my horse riding lesson. Good. Not unless you want to bond through throwing up. Well, that is the best way to bond. Morning, Sif. <laughs> Shrink, how are you? Speaking of, I'm walking. And you? A good share of information happening up in the Also north. walking. One of my Brintide woke up, so... <coughs> it's been a decent morning so far. Good. You're heading out to the uh, log cutters camp. The one where we like that. Sure. Do you need to go out there? Oh, my <sighs> Maybe. I'll see how I feel. I'm a little stiff. Especially in front of women who are hard at work already. Well, take care of yourself then. Mm. Who's this? Basil. My this is Olana, a friend from out of town. Alana, this is Sif. Cranium. A moment. And this is the <laughs> season of life on my tail. If you see Marcus, can you tell him I'm here? Uh, sure. I apparently need to deliver Clifford's wood because Clifford was being escorted by guards. So. Yeah, I heard about that. Morning, Cade. Welcome back. Sharik, good to see you. Hmm. Uh, rode in this morning. Long trip. Your friend. Mm. Got some free ale then, so I won't complain about that. Good. Anything interesting? I think so. 
There you go. First try. Yeah, I'm going to say yes, and then we'll talk about it later. Sure, once Tazim's back around. <laughs> oh, I think he's out doing orders. So ah, of course. It's true. Oh, yes, it's I suppose it's... A number of things worth keeping people in the loop about. Sure, we'll... We need to have a get-together and get everyone on the same page again. That's right. If you'll excuse me. Might provide... Uh, yeah. This is my Might be even more helpful to other people. You take care. Oh my, my. We are some working girls hey, buddy. who enjoy your time and work at the bathhouse and if you... Wish to have some fun. So one thing to three to the bell, five to the black sheep. If you can always have some fun with us. Morning, Margaret. Good morning. Mama told me I need to come here. Elena, that's it. Mm. So I've been looking around. It's more like an O. Ah, damn, Arkash. Like a. Oh, hey there. It's an O, Lena. Hey, doing Mr. Bell. Everything alright with you? Yeah. Could be better. I have something that may be more useful in terms of longevity. Walk with me for a moment. Sure. Morning. Hail to you. You look a bit worse for a wear, lad. Yeah. You have a party without me. A party without you is not a party, Morden. It's a get together. <laughs> Good lad, he's learning. Venora. No, quite the opposite, actually. See if you can request them. Thank you, by the way. Okay, okay, okay. They told me about, you know. Do you need help, sir? Oh, they're right here. Wait. Go off. Today? Um, Just right over there. Did you want yeah. to attempt a jog on the beach, or at least a walk? I feel bad not I doing done anything. My job. We can walk to build oh, habit. There's no point in destroying your frail little ankles. <laughs> my poor frail little ankles. Because at the moment, my supply is woefully low. Yeah, I think our access to the supplies. Yeah, I think I gave him most of the supplies. I think, uh, yeah, I gave him all the materials he needed on the way he was going to design it. It's going to be... So do you want to tell me what you found out, or are you going to wait until uh, Tizim's around for that? If you trust anybody, it would be you. You'd be correct. I just didn't know if you wanted to, you know, make sure it all gets done at once, but... Well, I'm not opposed at repeating myself. It's not much to tell. Mm-hmm. It seems that what your father asked me to go look at might be leading to his worst suspicions. He wanted me to check on the militarization of a group. They don't seem to have any armies as of yet, but they are gathered in separate encampments. They're training or running drills. What so, group is this? It's usually the first step before preparing a military. The Fipacts. Ah. Hmm. The concerning part is that it seems the Baron's son is on a journey to Zeneca for whatever reason. But considering his reputation among the local mercenaries, I wouldn't be surprised if he was there to bolster some type of aid. Hmm. There have been talk of mounting tensions between the Vapex and the Rodods for a while now. The thing is, though, the Vapex probably don't even need a large army, be it mercenary or not. They own the Trident farmlands up to the north, which means they could basically just starve us out if they wanted.
Well, the problem with that is you need people to rule an area. They starve out. The peasants will go first. And everybody else that will inhabit the land that they will decide to rule. So that's not exactly a smart option. No, but they could use it as leverage, is what I'm saying. That leverage only works for a stupid man. Have you met, well, have you heard about the uh, Radovs yet? Not much. They're more concerned about fighting amongst themselves than uh, uniting to do with the, the Peck invasion. I'm sure they wouldn't even agree on how to do that. They're ineffective, I think. Then it sounds like one of the Radovs needs to disappear. Solves everything. Yeah, we're just trying to pick which side we want to be on on this, if either of them. I see. A mem is more or less embedded with the Imperials. For the longest time he had a Imperial advisor that was basically sitting in with him on all of these uh, meetings he had. The other one, Kovaz. That's obviously not the right choice. Why Correct. would we choose to back somebody so heavily in debt to the Imperials? Well, Kovaz, the other one, has been dealing with the Elves. I may have got them switched around, but you get the idea. He's heavily embedded with the Elves as well. So, it's kind of the devil you know, or something new, I guess. <clears throat> I know the devil you speak of, and it's not one I wish to continue dancing with. We're going to have to anyway. Uh, you say that, but you don't. You don't get it. You've had the luxury of not living under them for years. You don't understand what that means. Hmm. Okay. Enlighten me. You want me to give you a full breakdown about what it feels like, and is like to live under occupational imperial territory. Only what you're comfortable with. You're right, I've only been fighting them in the field. I've not been part of their culture, I guess. It's but I a different war from that angle. Hmm. I I don't think that's something I'd ever experience. People like me under their control don't live long, so Not to sound rude, but that might be a blessing. That bad, huh? It depends. Depends on how much you bend the knee, and even then, if you have pride, it eats you away slowly every day. It did my father, anyway. <laughs> Feeling like a traitor, but wanting to keep his family and his people safe. Is that sentiment shared with many of the other lords? Well, many of the other lords rolled over and became fat cats under the rule. Exactly. That's what I was trying to gauge. How many people uh, well, would be willing to jump up if we gave them the chance. But if people are now comfortable in their comfy seats given to them by the Imperials, it would be harder to displace, right? Depends. <laughs> Some are house cats. That don't know how to feed themselves anymore, and some are tigers. In cages. <clears throat> uh, it's rough, you can't tell who they are from a distance. Yeah. That's something I was trying to get my head around, is... Who do we come to to trust first? Like... How do we know they won't just betray us or something? <clears throat> well... Lord's plan is a smart one. Establish some type of power here. Once we become the safe haven, people will answer. It's not an easy journey to make, and it would be a dangerous one, so anybody willing to make it would definitely prove themselves. <coughs> you think they'd come all the way here from Gwyn? That's what your father spoke of. Hmm. 
in the meeting room, you said that we could be a safe haven for anybody running. True. To get out. A couple of days back, well, I should back up a little bit. The Imperial Embassy here is split into two factions. There are hardcore fanatics, and there are those of a less of a caring attitude towards people of uh, non-humans and such like that. The Imperial Faith, as it were. Because of this conflict, uh, one of... Everything that runs red is not to be trusted. Do not let them fool you. Oh no, I agree, but... Uh, the fact that there's discourse in those ranks prompted one of the sergeants of the more loyalist side to try and send a missive to the Inquisition directly to try and garner more troops either from the Imperium or from one of the other embassies. We managed to stop him and send a different missive in his stead, so we've managed to delay the definite invasion of the Imperials from maybe a couple more days. Morning, Morden. I see. I thought I should make you aware, lad, while you're away from... Notice, you have a watcher. Seems a guard has been stationed to keep an eye on the blacksmithy. I'd right. suggest using the back door from now on. Sure thing. I appreciate Things it. Things to business in the front door. Uh, it was the Carteris Guild patron that informed us. Very good. I just thought I'd pass along the message while you're out of town. That way they can't hear me. Thank you. This is probably in response to last night. You should also let... You should probably have your guests as well refrain from using the front door. I'll try, you know how they can be. Uh, is it Crenshaw? Right. The name, I don't know if I got that right. Uh, you should advise him to use the back door instead of the front next time. If I see him, I'll let him know. Thank you, Morden. Not a problem. I thought it would be best to catch you when I saw you head out, so... So I like made you walk all this way. Back in. That's fine. I can use the exercise. Plus, I'm only walking, I'm not running. I'm not crazy like Marcus and the rest of them. Do you remember the conversation we had where I told you you have too many friends at your house? Yeah. Do you remember the time I agreed with you? Dazeem seems to be you know, using it as a it, sort Whatever of... this is... Mm. It perpetuates. Your pretty bathhouse friends become loose ends they can dangle in front of you. Stop doing that. Understood. Keep your bathhouse excursions in the bathhouse. They're easy women to take advantage of, a, of, and nobody would know they were gone. That's not fair to them. They've got their own problems. So don't make it worse. Mm -hmm. If you want to see them, go to the bathhouse. So, yeah, as I was saying, this, uh... Inquisitorial ships that we know are definitely coming, we hope, have been delayed by a couple of days, so that should buy us a little more time. Just so you're up to speed. I see. Thank you.
<clears throat> have you fought orcs before? Can't say I have. Hmm. It might be something we have to do soon. I see. Uh, good morning, uh, Sharik. How can I help? Um, well, not uh, anything to do with at this very moment, but uh, fairly soon, perhaps tomorrow or uh, the day after, once Tang has given me some materials, I was wondering if I would be able to use your uh, forge here in town. His um, chest plate and helmet are a bit damaged and require repair. Of course, uh, I'd be willing to help out if you're willing to give me some, you know, pointers and such. Um, once I bring the, uh, once, once he brings me the materials and I bring them over here, I'd be happy to, uh, to show you what I do. It's fairly simple work, really. Um, just have to get some of the quartz crystals, a lot of his, uh, glass bits were damaged. And then, of course, his chest plate and helmet were cracked. And since we don't have the material he's made out of, figure we might as well fill them with melted steel. Um, I know things are hard to get right now, but that's the best that we can do for him. Yeah, it's going to be hard pressed to get steel, but if we can keep him up and running, that'd be good. I'd much rather sure. do that than uh, iron or bronze. Hmm. Clifford. How are you holding up? I'm walking. How about you? I heard you got arrested. Yeah, some bullshit the guard think I did last night. They thought I was in the uh, Cassetto. <laughs> that sounds stupid. I could, I could barely walk around with my wounds yesterday. It's not like I could really go anywhere. And I didn't have a horse in town that I could ride. If I really wanted to get there, I'd probably have to take have somebody take me. You could walk there, take <sighs> an hour or two. <laughs> what happened in Corsetto? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, sorry to disrupt your business. Huh? What happened in Corsetto? Why are they oh, so worked out? I guess some people got killed. Oof. I guess some people got killed. Somebody fingered me, thought that I was there. So the natural... Yeah, sure. The natural step from that is the brewer, totally. <sighs> yeah. Right. Yep. <sighs> hmm. Seems like there's yeah. a lot of uh, a lot going on. Standard guard uh, bullshit. Of course. Allowing me to go. use the forge. I'll uh, come by tomorrow. Know. Sure. If no one's around, then of course. Thank you, Ziegler. <clears throat> Thank you, Sharik. Reg, how can I help? My knife, is it done today or tomorrow? Fuck? It's done today. I can grab it for you now. <laughs> yeah? What business do you have here? Hmm. I was coming to get my sword sharpened. Hmm. Hmm. Right, right. Well, this is perfect. Uh, we're looking for the other one. Grazie. Of course. Hmm. Blacksmith Apprentice. Well? Yes, Godsman. Come over here. <clears throat> How can I help? Come over here and put your hands behind your back. Uh, am I being arrested for something? Yes, you are. You're being detained. Okay, I'm sure we can figure Listen, this out. I'll, uh... Is your door open? I'll just go and leave my sword in there. Yeah, go ahead. I'll sharpen it when I get back from this. Thanks. Sergeant, disarm him. He's gonna pat you down. 
Got another dagger hidden in his boot. Ah, another fucking boot knife. It's Gradio. And the usual. Alright. I'm going to take him to the keep. To let uh, Amir and the other sergeant know we have him. Very well. Safe, can you take down any orders I miss, please? I'm sure I'll be back soon. Sure. To the keep? Yep, keep moving. Where's Amir, huh? You let Tazim know I'm out and about, Harry. Do I, uh, get to know what I'm supposedly being arrested for? And you were forced to slay me. Oh, you'll learn everything that you need to know. Kind of sounds weird that I'm being arrested that I don't know anything and I'll learn later. If I were in a situation to I'm just a little confused is all. No, oh, don't worry. We're a little confused too. Actual blood. No, oh, you got another one. Don't eat that. Well, hopefully, we can figure this all out. After all, why would uh, why are we getting reports of uh, someone matching your description being somewhere they shouldn't be? Description being drow. <laughs> well, if only it were that simple. <clears throat> It was a uh, very detailed description. Strange. And where was I not supposedly supposed to be again? Mm, I'm sure you know. I don't, otherwise I wouldn't be asking. Last tonight. I've not been here before, do you mind? Where am I going? Keep going straight. Up the stairs. Oh, very good. <laughs> Take a seat. Okay. Can I? Did have... you search him? Yes. I already have his things. I'm just gonna pat uh, the sword on the hip. All right. Do you mind moving my hands to my front so I can, uh, you know, sit? Don't worry, I'll untie you. Thank you. Or the blacksmith's assistant, huh? That's me. What is your name? Shariq. Sharik, pleasure to meet you. I don't believe we've met before. My name is Amir. Amir, pleasure. No, I don't believe we have. You were surrounded by sergeants, you know, this guard. Some of them favorites of the Capono, some of them favorites of the Custode. We are investigating a very serious matter. See, last night, there was a series of murders in the town of Coseto. Falls under our jurisdiction. Oh, I'm sorry. And we found, uh... Yes, thank you. We believe that, um... Somebody matching your description might be involved. We, um... Were able to see what happened last night in the dead of the dark. At the clinic. 
What happened? Last night? <laughs> you... Were... I suppose I shouldn't lie. Um, this can stay, like, here, though, right? Like, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. Or... <laughs> so, I was coming downstairs of my house, and I stepped on an uneven cobblestone, and I tumbled all the way to the bottom, and I ended up busting a rib. I am embarrassed because as Is a that so? drow, I'm supposed to be able to see mm -hmm. these things, but I... <laughs> it's kind of really stupid, actually. Yes, but uh, you were quite bloody. Yeah. Were you not? Supposedly, I was pretty out of it. Hmm. Hmm. Not just Why him, don't you, though. Uh, describe hmm. the scene, Lieutenant? Tell him what we've seen. Hmm. Just in the dead of night, a knight in a, what was it, a brown hood, covered in blood himself, carrying yourself covered in blood. Like I said, not the, long uh, after that, uh, have you been in my house? Another person, matching a description uh, we were looking for, was uh, assisting you afterwards. The descriptions being... Description being you and your father out by Cosetto, where all these murders occurred. But what I can't add up, Sharik is what a blacksmith and his apprentice would be doing out there in the middle of the night by a bunch of murderers with some other very strange individuals like um, this uh, this Clifford, the brewmaster. You know, we talked to him and for some reason <laughs> he gave us a bunch of uh, excuses, a uh, constructed alibi, if you will. But you know, we just looked into that. We just finished looking into his sources. And you know what? They were bullshit. So was he with you? I wasn't in Corsero. You're right, that mm -hmm. sounds really far-fetched that a blacksmith and his apprentice would be at night at a place where people got murdered. These people that are giving you these descriptions, are you sure they're trustworthy? They're not just picking notable people from Nortis to finger especially i mean look i i'm a drow right i i get it you're not really trustworthy of me and such but this happens quite frequently this isn't a matter of who is or isn't drow in this town mr sharik you see we could be bringing all the drow in town here but we weren't described them Described the blacksmith's apprentice, right? And the blacksmith himself, I, yeah, with his uh, leather armor. I fully believe that, mm. but what I'm saying is that these people that are giving you these descriptions, uh, describing notable people from Nautilus. I mean, the blacksmith, the apprentice, the brewer, right? Doesn't that sound kind of weird that they're just picking these notable people, people that they recognize and other people recognize? Not just random people. So you were in the clinic last night, correct? I don't know. I wasn't conscious. Like I said, I fell down the stairs and it was all fuzzy. Mm. Mm. Well, we can ask you the question, where did you wake up? Hmm? I was back at my house, on the couch. Bit on for someone to be unconscious in the clinic to wake up at their house on their own furniture. Do you have a, do you have you a suit of armor, Sharik? I have a suited to yourself. Set of leather armor. Set of leather armor. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've worn it around town a bit. I mean, most people. And who was this? Uh, this man in plate that was carrying you. That beats me. How do you, like I said, was unconscious. You'd have to be more descriptive. What was the uh, description, Salim? Someone in brown? 
Yeah, say hooded brown uh, cloak on top of a, a set of iron plate. Mm. They weren't there when I fell, and they weren't there when I woke up, so... I'm I'm trying to help. I'm trying to give what you. What was the other one again? A uh, a black masked uh, drow was also seen uh, carrying you out of the clinic. If they were wearing a mask, how do you know they were yeah, drow? You see what I mean? This these descriptions are just weird. Don't you see? By the descriptions, the sleeves were exposed. The arms, you could see the tone, the color. Okay. I mean, again, see, they're just pointing the figure at Jarrah, uh, and they can't even give a description of, every... of the face. You see what I'm trying to say here, right? It does. It just sounds weird. Hmm. Well, there are Sorry. other people that walk around here in masks, Mr. Sharif. You're doing fine. Just answer the questions. Right, I'm just a little nervous. It's, Sorry. There's, there's no need for you to be so defensive. Well, we didn't take you down to the cell. We're not, you know, we're not going to hurt you. You're right. And we're not we're beating you, you torturing answers out of you. We're being very receptive you, you are. of you. You've shown more kindness than this has happened in the past. It's just, like I said, it's happened before and it's gone really weird for me. And I just... Listen. Listen. Mr. Shurik. Okay, we understand that sometimes when the guards pull you in, all right... You want to come up with a story, you want to be as far away from whatever they're looking for as possible, okay? But we're here on a fact-finding mission. Okay, now we have descriptions of you in particular, not just any draw, all right? In the <coughs> area of Cresetto. Mm -hmm. We're not saying that you did it. We're just saying, did you see anything? Now, this whole story about falling down these stairs, okay? Frankly, it's bullshit, okay? I'm not a fucking idiot. All right, but we can move past that. Okay, I've lied to the guards before. This is notice. All right, it is Gradia. I've seen how some of my men perform out in the streets, you know. They can be a little, well, zealous. I would say are the words. But now we're having a real conversation because some of our men have been murdered. So if you were out by Cosetto doing some business with your mentor in the night, if you saw anything, I would like to know. We already spoke with Clifford. Okay, I... we know that he <clears throat> was out there. He didn't mention you, but he did mention that he might have heard some other things. So we're just trying to compare your stories together. But tell me what you know, what you saw, what you heard, where you were. The Tyler, truth at time, these if you questions would please. and these statements about the guards not wanting to get violent and not wanting to hurt anyone in the course of this investigation, your mind can't help but go back to a hammer, a forging hammer, slamming down on your arm multiple times, cracking bone and bruising sinew. You know that the violence that they've inferred has not come yet although it could and it could come suddenly and lethally if they wished to a certain extent before you answer the questions you consider this one last thing and that is that it certainly seems like interrogation with a smile isn't much different than interrogation with a scowl like it was back in adwick i can tell you what i know but i mean it's probably not going to help anything right Well, you don't know. Sometimes you see of... something, you hear something. It may not seem like anything important to you, but to us, we're talking to many different people. We can pull details from the uh, mosaic of information, if you will. So anything while you are out and about outside of Nodis would be extremely helpful to us, Mr. Sharik. I wasn't there. I, Like I said, I didn't leave Nodis. I didn't go to Belerno. I didn't... I can't tell you anything. If I was, I mean, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I would help. I really was hoping that you wouldn't say that. I, I'm sorry. I can't help. I, I would if I could. 
Understand. You're free to go. Give him back his shit. You heard him, Sergeant. <sighs> I'll be speaking with you in the future, Mr. Sharik. Your sword. And then... Your dagger. Thank you. I'm really sorry I couldn't help. I... Every Listen. little bit helps. Don't worry. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Mr. Sharik. All right. It's not a matter of when, it's not a matter of if it's going to happen, it's going to happen very soon. I hope so. Now, Wolf my office is always open. And you can always reach out to me, okay? Thank you. It was Amir, right? That's right. Pleasure. <laughs> I hope it was in, well, better circumstances Likewise. next time. Yes. Sergeant Fenton, walk him out of the keep, please. All right. Right this way. We ran Clifford's uh, participation at the bathhouse, and it was found lacking. There's no need to be so on edge while I'm in the room. I... I do, though. I'm with the custode. He won't allow that to happen. I won't allow that to happen. You can't be everywhere. It's not about the room, it's everywhere else. Unfortunately. They're hurting innocent people. And there's not a damn thing I can do about it. Not without evidence. I hope something comes up. I really do. Like I said, I'm just a blacksmith, but I don't know. Do me a favor. If you learn about anything about who did this, they did us all a favor. Tell them that. Uh. <clears throat> okay. You guys are gonna snoop. People are gonna ask questions. It'll spread. And we'll probably never hear it, but. I mean, if I find out who does this, I'll tell you a as a god, right? <clears throat> Have a good one. You too. It's all the same. They're always your friend until they're not. The guards, the enforcement, it seems, in Gradia does execute their job with an air of cautious grace or perhaps just cynicism as a thin veneer over the layer of brutality and violence you know that it seems like most authority is more than willing to employ on the peasant populace that they rule with. I fell down some stairs. I could believe it. Does the injury from you falling downstairs need to be treated? No, it's okay. I'm all good. Thank you, Ladia. Okay. I think you're being followed. I usually am. Mm. Mm. 
Why'd they want? Apparently something happened in, uh, one of the towns last night. Trying to see if I was there, I guess. Uh, weird. Don't fall in, we're all need more stairs. You okay? You got that scowl on your face. Oh. Well, what am I supposed to think when you get dragged off? What am I supposed to tell your dad? <laughs> I suppose. I handled it though, it's okay. This thing's happen. I can see. Without any more bruises too. Bonus points. Yeah. I told them everything I could. Thanks for reminding me of the same thing that's been told to me by pretty much everyone. Is everything good? Yeah, I mean, I told them everything I knew. I wasn't even in, what was it, Cosero? So. Apparently they had descriptions yeah. of me, but I just told I was them it was just strange that everyone that they described was notable people of Nautus, right? If someone wanted to point the finger at someone, they would yeah. pick out the blacksmith, the apprentice, the, you know, the brewmaster, all people that, you know. And it's not like you haven't had your fair share of people just pointing fingers and being like, you did a crime. That's exactly what I told them. <laughs> oh, um, uh, here, just to make it seem real. Here's uh, some copper for the sharpening. Yeah, I hope it cuts good. Appreciate it. I gotta catch uh, up with the... Uh... Yeah, no problem. I trust you. Yeah. I gotta catch up with a few people. See you around. Oh, um... Mm -hmm. Uh, with that sword, apparently they went to the bathhouse and checked with the bath girls to see if you were there. And the story came up short. They're coming again. Figured that out. Yeah, um, I was going to try to gonna try to talk to somebody, but I can handle it probably by the end of the day if you want. No. And then uh, you can get it back to me. That's fine with me. Fantastic. All right. Swing by. I'll probably swing by later Just tonight then. Sir. Mm -hmm. You can do it. I believe in you. Lieutenant present the warrant. We have a warrant from the custode to raid the blacksmithy to look for any information regarding your whereabouts last night in Cassetto. Sure, I mean the blacksmith is open. Very good, if you would open the door for us, we would be very appreciative. Oh, that's not the blacksmithy, that's my personal house. That's different. You need a different warrant for that, I think. That is, that is the... It is the house that we are going to be searching, Mr. Shriek. Says Blacksmithy. Come, Lieutenant. Don't make this harder than it okay. has to be. Just following the law. If he is not going to open it, we can open it ourselves. If you just give them what they want, they'll go away much quicker. I've already told them everything. Perfect! You can join us. We're going to be raiding this house. Would you like to join? No. How many times are you going to raid this house? I'll let you know. The door, if you would, Mr. Shariq. See if you guys knocking it down again. You quickly make your way upstairs. <clears throat> Tear the place apart. Yeah, <sighs> the door, but looking for anything that might be. 
threatening to be seen. I want everything. I'm Tear up in the sofa, the pillows. Nothing looks dangerous, but then something occurs. Open up the cabinets. <sighs> Go through everything. For search, gentlemen. Don't Fendi. stay with them. Go ahead. Open everything up. I just put this place back together. To, uh, Shariq, couldn't you? Hmm. I'll look over Mr. Shariq. Sure. This is new to me. I figured. Hmm. Well. So where were you? Around, yeah. Evening time. Any time during yesterday, Mr. Shariq. Well, I was in here. I suppose you were home. And then I fell down the mm. stairs. And then I don't remember the rest. And then I woke up here. I can tell. Yeah. Not good. No. Really sucks. But apparently, any, I've been told I was eyewitness at... testimonies to say you were here? Apparently someone brought me to the clinic, but I don't recognize them. Are they gonna knock down... Can I go and open these doors so that they don't break them? I'll go with you. Thank you. Like I've got keys, you don't need to bust down doors. Do you mind if I open them for you so we don't have to pay for repairs? Uh, property damage, no gentlemen. Thank oh, you. Go ahead. Oh, oh, that's already you open, but... You see a row of <laughs> cabinets. So... And then you come around the corner. Mind my pardon, sir. Bookshelves, a desk, <clears throat> what has the blacksmith been accused of again? What a well learned He's blacksmith. been uh, seen at Cassetto <laughs> last Very night. Very well read. Where some Cassetto. of our men were murdered. Very now. Well, well, hold say. on a second. There were murders of our men at Cassetto? Guardsmen. And if you take the yes. first time hearing of this. What in the fuck? Rolling. <clears throat> We've been investigating it. So far, he's the uh, second the person 19. we've uh, started what to investigate. Didn't it tell us much? So the custodian uh, decided to let us uh, search his premises. Iron and raw iron dealings with the merchant skills. So was it just iron the blacksmiths who were spotted at Cusano, or am I following something different here? You take the time well, to we had multiple blacksmiths, eyewitness reports. The brewer and a few more obscure figures. Give that. Information right now. Tablets will find spare clothes. Got it. Just pots. search around and ask and some tank. Got it. Following orders. I'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> you mind stepping in the other room, Sharik, so I can keep questioning you? Yeah, lead the way. Yes. Check these shelves. This is your home, not mine. Uh. Sure. What the fuck is all over this table? In here. With a strange plant. You've never seen the light before, it oh, and glimmers to your very Do you want me just to sit up here? You want to ask me questions? Mm, what is this? Yeah, sure. Okay. Find anything interesting? Jar with the plant in it, the shimmering water and leaves. It's oddly I'm sure you heard what they were looking for. Herbologist. I've never seen anything like this before. You have no clue what it is. So, you say that you were here yesterday evening, fell down some stairs, brought to the clinic. What about, uh... I was told Smith? I was brought the to the clinic. Black I was unconscious. I don't know, I wasn't around him. Told. Yeah, hey, fall down the stairs would do that to you. Yeah, I mean, look at my fucking eye. There's nothing in here, just a bunch of fucking ledgers. Look at this. It seems to be his study, gentlemen. As you look at what's it in his is. hand, guardsman, you'll see the jar that's on the shelf to your right. A plant that's glittering. The water shimmering. It is very strange to look at. That didn't happen. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it is very strange to look what at. The fuck? I didn't see anything. Your house is fucking weird. It's like a Scooby Doo house. No. No, they. It's <laughs> pretty, what the fuck huh? that is. They said I was at, uh, what was it, Belerno? But, Belerno. the only way I could have possibly have... Sure, I don't know. 
Um, the only way I could have possibly been there is if they were the person giving these descriptions was pointing and fingering people that we're going were to, notable uh, in Northus, this plant right? here for uh, evidence. Excuse me. You taking my plant? Uh, ex not to intrude on the investigation, but how is a plant going to help our investigation of murders at Cusero? I mean, if we're going to waste the Capitano's time, at least do it. Something a little bit more valuable than a plant. There's about three of them. Oh, maybe you will like it. Let's see. So, so you're stealing from those? Yeah. Oh, Take this plan to sure. my desk. <clears throat> it's a I fucking have, uh, questions for a moment. The door the I know, time. I like it. Spoilers of war. Ah. Uh, your <coughs> we aren't thieves. How many times have, have we been to the blacksmith? Especially he's taught that man a few lessons, and it's come up black. This time, all of a sudden, they've been spotted at Cassetto, and now is when shit hits the fan. It's it's fine. I'm used to it. I mean, you know, I get this everywhere. It's more like a piling up of things at this rate. As you move the carpet around, you can't find anything either. Floor. You move boxes around. Well, at least, Nothing of that's the theory. If you search his hmm. room... I didn't exactly get the name, the uh, man <laughs> down the there. If you search in the room, in the green the seems to so know uh, more of all of it. Strange uh, tribal he's the one filing all the reports. Seem to be made out of the ocean itself. Okay. Rare shells, okay. some glass jewels. But I would need to question your superiority, sir. Just want to be caught up to speed so I can aid the investigation. Anything to report, Lieutenant? Is there anything else I need to know? Uh, there's there's not. not much, but uh, just <coughs> average junk. Look for anything, anything in here some that would point to mm, them being in Gazetto, <laughs> them being oh, in some form of conflict in a recent time. <laughs> Anything like that. Lady, Investigate their story. Them, if you sign. can't look for blood anywhere if it hasn't been cleaned You're up yet, happened last them. night. They are not relevant. Claims okay. he fell down the stairs. I decide what is Don't relevant to my investigation, shit. Sergeant oh, Fenton. All right. Very well. As you wish, sir. Sure. Looks like junk. <laughs> Rolling. I boy, huh? could you take you through my room if that would make you feel better. Let's go. Kyler, as you come down the stairs, you see that some of the jewelry that Raylan has made is smashed on the floor. That some have been pocketed by the guards as well. Outside of the right. it doesn't seem any, anything of import. Just going to go question him. Get a few more things from him as well. Is there anything else in the be of stuff so I can federate the situation, sir? None at all. Go ahead. You find anything upstairs, Sergeant? Right away. Just a box full of rusty swords. All right, we're getting out of here. We're past our, uh, our mandate. I'll be here getting the questions and answers from him, so have fun. Is we're leaving. A trash collector, we're past our mandate. We've done 18. enough. That's Do I was just ordered to question them though? You sure you don't like want the full story? I'm still getting my answers from them. Give me five minutes and I'll be out. You have a... Do you have something extra to tell us? Just the same thing I've been telling Mr. everyone. But I haven't seen him yet, so I was hoping to make sure everyone understood. I'll give you a copy of the report, Marco. Come on. We gotta get going. <clears throat> I'll be out there in a few minutes then. I promise. As you go to step of course. Out of the room, you look behind you, you see a lot of... <clears throat> Jewelry has been smashed. Some of it's taken. The room is in disarray. What the fuck is taking Fenton? Fenton, hurry the fuck up. We're leaving. If I were you. Let's go. Yep. Let's go. I get your story as clear as possible. You should have. Uh, if you find the blacksmith, work. bring him to the keep. Of here. course. <laughs> we'll make sure to find the blacksmith post haste, sir. 
So, fell downstairs, brought to the clinic. What about everyone else that was possibly involved in all of this? I don't know. I wasn't there. So, I don't know who's involved and who's not involved. Just go ahead and question them. Go question them. Croaked. I don't know. Apparently, witnesses saw us. I'll go with you. I've spent this entire time disproving that by saying that they're fingering specific people because we're notable. But... <laughs> and notorious. You're on the Capitano shit list. Supposed to see me. Exactly. <clears throat> Everyone involved needs to get their story straight, otherwise they're gonna start finding holes real quick. You can move around a lot easier than I can. I need to tell you that. Yeah. Not really. They won't even tell me the other perpetrators, yet they all know. I know there's descriptions of Shereen. myself, Tazim, uh, the brewmaster, and one other person. That's all I heard. <clears throat> they mentioned a few others, but apparently, I don't I need to know basis. The knight wearing brown and uh, a drow with a black mask, apparently. They're being cautious. Good. A little too cautious. The custodies men are embedded with them. They can't go too far out of their way. Custody or Capitano? <coughs> this Capitano point of mine is starting men. to blur a hell of a lot more. heading the investigation, but the custodies men are sticking with them, so they can't go too out of their way. When I was up at the keep, they can I could tell they were trying to get violent, but they couldn't because one of the sergeants was there. So custody is someone of the law. If you can keep those people low to the custody there, we will have an easier time getting around this. <sighs> See what I can do. You should make sure uh, you inform Tazim about this whole fucking thing. You should punch me or something. Yeah. Make it look like I was giving you lip. I might swing you back to that side. Are you supposed to be a fucking and legs. Face where you want it. What about the other eye? How does that work? <sighs> yep. Oh, God, you have a sick fucking skull. You have a good left hook. Get out God of here. Damn.